There we go, I think we're back. Oh no, everyone saw my illicit destiny logs. <laughs> Alright. You can hear awful slams and growls coming from the other side of this door. You aren't even going to try to open it. And there's some goop over here. If you hid inside this crate, you think you'd be nervous that it was somehow going to suddenly close up around you, and you'd be left screaming in the dark in a slimy box somewhere impossibly far from your home. Actually, you got quiet all of a sudden. Did I lose you? No, I'm still here. Okay, okay. I just, I just haven't sure, been talking. That's fine. Just the internet was hicking up. Hicking, yeah. hicking up? Eh, you know. Uh, so you don't think you'll be hiding in that crate just now? Uh, what's the robot? Yeah. Yeah. A busted up robot? It seems like something pretty intense went down here just before you arrived. There's some plans on the ground. You pick up a hand-drawn, scribbled-on diagram of the portal, showing how the pieces fit together. Can I, like, examine it? Ah, oh, no. Because I, I want to see if it's the same blueprint that Jude has. It's a futuristic forklift. It's probably what moved that giant crate here. Can we operate it? You don't know how to drive this thing. It doesn't seem to be on anyway. Uh, it's another gun. This one looks a lot more sophisticated and deadly than your paws weaponry, which you left back in the attic. You'll think you'll leave this one where it is too. You attempt to oh, do. Uh... Oh, what's that? Yeah, Zephros was talking again. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. You intend to do something with the tablet and this control panel, but you don't know how. Maybe talk to that guy again? Hey, I found the paper you're talking about. So what do I do with it? Well, uh, okay, give me a minute. I know this. Uh, I'm really sorry. I didn't think you'd be quizzing me right after what happened. I swear I'll prepare better next time. It's okay. Wow, really? Yeah, really. Not a quiz. I have no idea what any of this means. Oh, jeez. Is it a test? No. I see, I have no idea what's going on here. I've never seen this thing before. What is it telling me? I'm doing my best, but I don't know what you want me to do. Please tell me what you want me to say. Um. So, this paper seems like come kind of schematic for the portal I just came through. It looks kind of familiar, not just the portal, but the paper itself. I don't know that would that'd be possible, though. Anyway, is that right? Is this a diagram for the steak machine? Well, if I remember right, that thing is a guide to the weapon. The weapon? You mean the snake portal? Oops. Uh, the code. Um, okay, yeah, it's the portal. Can I unlock the snake machine with this? Is... Is that what I should do? Unlock the snake machine? Oh, the serpent security program for your hive's power hexagrid. Yes, if that's what you want, Tetrarch. You can always do whatever you want. Um, wow. Well, uh, that thing you said, that will that help me get out of here? Exactly. Just pull all X fingers on the back of your tablet until the control panel up like executes. X. In. Oh no. I'm in trouble. I did exactly what I'm not supposed to. This was in test and I blew it, of course you remember, and I definitely shouldn't have said any of that. I'm so sorry, it's hard to keep up with these espionage rules sometimes. Okay, um. I'll just go check that out. I'm so sorry, Tetrarch. I'm just gonna leave you to whatever it is that you do. <laughs> oh, Xerox. You place all ten of your fingers on the back of the tablet and approach the control panel. Hey, some kind of security password entry program appears on the screen. Oh. Oh, I know that artist. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's, a. Uh... Fuck. They just recently did a book launch. They used to be on the forums. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, Persona well... face? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're playing uh, Snake. You yeah, know, I had heard that she had done some art for this. That's awesome. Good for her. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, some of this art's done by a Shelby Crag, too, I know. I 
There we go. Yeah, it definitely looks like they made their own font. Yeah, yeah. Oop, forklift starting up. Oh! Whoa! A lot of things are happening at once. It's the Lucis! It's their Lucis! <gasps> <laughs> She's so jazzed. Oh, yeah. Nope! <laughs> Whew. All right. Hey! Hey, uh, Xerox, are you there? I don't know how I feel about the code name Xerox. It's pretty close to Zephros, don't you think? I mean, imagine I called you Damn It. Not that I would ever do that. Sorry. I don't really know what to say to any of that. Sorry! It's fine. Stop apologizing. I'm actually really annoying when you do that all the time, FYI. Oh. Sorry. Uh, forget about it. I want to ask you about the security console. Play the game on it, but all that happened was a forklift drove straight into the force field and exploded. Whoa, your forklift exploded? Yeah, it's not mine, though. Is it yours? I'm sorry, I wrecked it. No, of course not. Or, I mean, do you want me to take it? Because it's broken? I wouldn't mind. I mean, whatever. Up to you. Um, all right, and then a weird monster missed me into this other room, and there's only one door. It's kind of a bad situation. Weird monster? Yeah, uh, dear cat thing. Dear cat thing? Are you having a fight with your Lucis? Not that it's any of my business. Lucis? Is that what you call that thing? I barely got away with my life. Wait a minute. Are you... Actually not Tetrarch Damic? No, I'm Joey. Joey Claire. I don't know what's going on. There's a bunch of big computers in boxes, and I don't know where I am or who you are, but you keep acting like you know what was going on. Well, what are you doing with the Tetrarch's tablet? Give me the Trapper Keeper laptop. I found it on the floor. <laughs> oh, Joey. <laughs> oh, no. Is Tetrarch Damic there? Maybe I could talk to him instead. Please. Please give the tablet to Tetrarch Damic, please. I don't know who Tetrarch Damic is. I don't know who you are. Could you look for him, please? Oh, yeah. I'm just rude one in the room that's filled with gods. Okay, thanks. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't know. I feel pretty good about this voice choice. Actually, no. I think it works really well. Yeah. That's a lot of boxes, crates, miscellaneous containers, etc. Pretty mundane stuff, I Y H O. Not that your first box stack not your first box stack rodeo. Joey's on the cutting edge of internet slang. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this reminds Definitely you Definitely a similar one. Yeah. This reminds you of Jude's dorky conspiracy theories. Although you guess maybe those weren't actually conspiracy theories? More like conspiracy facts, apparently. You guess the same may go for all this stuff, but jeez, do these dorks have to always dig themselves into such a crazy bones hole? What with the layered scrawls and everything? Uh, and that's definitely not for fairy. No. Definitely the, not. Uh, I, guess the there could, I guess there could have been an heiress between for fairy that got murked. Mm hmm. This reminds you of Jude's dorky can. Oh, no, that's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, so I guess that's the only thing you can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Back. Oop. Did you find him? No! Oh no. I don't know what to do. What should I do? Oh my god. Why on earth are you asking me? What's Earth? What? Oh. My. God. Jude? Is that you? <laughs> is this another one of your stupid practical jokes? It isn't funny. No, I'm Zephros! Okay, Zephros. Tell me what's going on. I, um, I don't really know. Actually, I'm kind of upset because you're yelling, and that makes it harder to think. I know I'm not very smart or good at anything, but I really am trying my best. I'm oh, sorry. Buddy. Zephros, I can't believe this. 
I'm the one who just got shot through space onto an alien nightmare horror show, and you expect me uh, expect me to make you feel better. Look, we all have self-esteem issues, but there's a time and a place for pathetic groveling, and it's not why I'm trying to not be devoured by alien monsters. Wait, you're an alien? I'm two seconds away from throwing a, this disgusting joke machine into it. I am with a problem of armed and dangerous guard around me. Wait, no doubt! This is so exciting, I've never met an alien before! I'm like seriously losing it! Most trolls never meet aliens until they go off planet to conquer them! What? Oh, okay, but like, you could be messing with me. Are you messing with me? The Tetrarch says I have to stop being so trusting. Oh, I know! Uh, say something only an alien would say! Uh... <laughs> All of those are pretty good. Oh, but that last one though, Ashley. <laughs> yeah, I think that's gotta be it. Yeah. I'm going to tap dance your sad little nerd body in the ground if you don't cut up this stupid baby nonsense shit right now. That's... Did you understand what I was asking? That was sort of a normal thing to say. <laughs> no, it wasn't! <laughs> that was... Not a nice thing to say at all. Ah, uh, sorry. This is a little nuts, and the deer cat maybe got me a little rattled. So you're not an alien. No, I am. Seriously, this seriously is an Earth. Between the snake machine and the deer cat and the sci-fi technology, I've been willing to leave. Unless there's some other monsters earlier, so I'm having kind of a day. Monsters. Yeah, I managed to get past them barely. Whoa, you're so cool. You're like on a real adventure. Wait, what color is your blood? Uh, what kind of question is that? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. I just wanted to be sure I knew before I made a mess of things. Um, okay. It's red. <gasps> really? Me too! Awesome! We could even be friends! This is so cool! Hey, maybe I can even help you! How? The Tetrarch's Lucis knows me. He'll calm down if I get over there. I Lucis, you mean the deer cat monster? Uh, yes? Uh, that's wonderful, thank you. Yeah! Except, um, I don't know. I'm still worried this might all be a big test. A test? I don't follow, sorry. Boys, boys are getting kind of frustrating to have to say that over and over. The Tetrarch is always testing me. And if this is the final exam of secrecy stuff and I blow it, he's going to be really disappointed. Oh, I know! If you can prove you're an alien, I'll come over and help you out. You want me to say more alien things? No, I mean, I have no way to verify if those are true or not. Um, oh, send me a picture of you. I don't have any photos with me in any way. How can I get it to you? Oh. I'm trapped in here by that monster. Aren't you using the Tetrarch's tablet? Take the pics of that and exmit it over. Pics? Exmit? Pictures. Transmit. Oh, um, that's kind of a way to ask Xerox. I'll give a shot. Here it goes. Joe, you're going to be the first human being to take a selfie. Let the rumpus commence, it says. Oh, yeah, no, this guy definitely has the voice I gave him. Yeah. Your name is Zephros Trito. You are having a difficult evening. Just one of many in a predictably difficult life, because you are rust blood trash. You've wit- you've- Oh, she's, he's got, like, a radia blood. Okay. Yeah. You just witnessed beams of red and green energy erupt from the hive of your best friend, Tetrarch Damic. Right before a squadron of Imperial drones snatched up half your neighbors. So it's safe to say your revolutionary efforts are not going great. Oh, and it seems you received a package. Uh, I guess let's check out that package. Yeah. It's a delivery from Scythian with the item you ordered quite a long time ago. And you guess it arrived during all the confusion. You open up the package. Inside is the Flart Manual. This edition of Flarp is focused on spy games, intrigue, and rebellion. Tretrarch Damic modeled a lot of his underground resistance ideas after this system. 
Oh, so it's the sprawl. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's got yeah psychic powers because he's. Uh, respite. Look. Yeah. The door to your respite block where you sleep. You're standing on your gander precipice. Yeah, there's billboards. Uh, enter. Oh, look at all of the spoons. Oh, yeah. You use these to practice your budding powers of telekinesis. You still aren't very good yet, but you sure showed these spoons who's boss. Bend. You don't use your hands to bend spoons. You use the power of the imagination. By which you mean your weak, unreliable psychic powers. Uh, try using the psychic powers. Oh, oh I see, yeah. Yes, yeah. that's right. Practice makes almost adequate. That's the burgundy way. Your mind flexes with the pulsing might of your phenomenal telekinetic powers. And you bend a tiny little silver spoon without even using your little grubby fingers. Big tough guy. Better bring this along just in case you run into any bent soup. <laughs> also, uh, look at his uh, rug. Uh, I can't. It's but, all pool balls. Oh, you're right. Shit. Let's look at the book you're going to look at. or It, yeah. it, it doesn't matter. Sure. Your wear grid study scroll. To be honest, only indigos really care about what fork goes where, and they crush anything they pick up anyway. You've pretty much got this memorized already. It's like uh, fork, fork, mega fork, micro fork, knife fork, fool's fork. That about covers it. You're reminded of the week Tetrarch Damic made you sleep on the floor as a training exercise. It was hard at first, and maybe he could have told you it was a training exercise beforehand instead of just saying sleep on the floor until I tell you otherwise, but it really toughened you up. You can sleep anywhere now. The Tetrarch is always making sure you're prepared for anything. Oh, buddy. Yeah. I don't know if your friend's the best. No. This is roughly around when you might normally be going to sleep. But the current circumstances, i.e. your imminent death if you don't escape, are not conducive to sleep. They're conducive to dying, though. Oh, he hit the lamp, too. He's got a lot of it. Oh, yeah. Arena stickball has always been the only time you really feel like yourself. When you're, not, when you're out on the velvet, your brawler defending you against the opposing prowlers and zappers, and I guess thinking about it too much makes you a little sad now. So, so it's some kind of sports... Looking at the dozer always helps you get to sleep, and looking at the snow globe always makes you nervous. You don't know, you know it's not a real one, but still. Uh, can you look at the poster in the top left? Uh, oh, oh my god. Ooh, boy. You play pusher, of course. Burgundies are ideally suited to this position because of their telekinetic powers and their ability to commune with dead players. <laughs> Also, Pusher is the most dangerous position, and no one really cares if Rustbloods get killed. Oh, oh it's, it's an eight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, it's your arena stickball gear. You play Pusher. It brings back fond memories of your seasons playing in the Out Glut Grub League. You're trying to, you're, yeah, you're trying out for the Thrash Thrust Junior League soon, but you're a little rusty. If you blow it, you could get cold. Between band practice with Tetrarch Damic, revolution lectures from Tetrarch Damic, and butling practice, you mostly serve Tetrarch Damic, you really haven't had the time you need to practice. Speaking of, there's your brand new butler uniform. It brings back less than fond memories of when you ordered it, sweeps ago. Delivery to Rustbloods like you is so slow. And hey, there's your smash suit, for when the Tetrarch helped you practice cool action movie stunts. Your memory from that time is a little hazy, actually. <laughs> Man. <laughs> uh, the book at the bottom? Uh, oh, yeah. White gloves, shoe polish, training silverware, everything an involuntary aspiring butler needs. <laughs> You've already tidied your butler training materials, even the ones you used to tidy the other ones. Uh, is there anything else in here? I don't think so. A calendar, maybe? Walk over no. to the right? Yeah. Oh, he's got a computer. It's your tablet. 
You can use it for pretty much everything. Your auto-tune mic's plugged into it. Oh, boy. Oh, wowzers. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. The grubbles, the grubbles. If you buck, we won't trouble to resist throwing fists while you sift through the rubble. It's sort of hard to spit your quasi-revolutionary rhymes with any real fighter while dressed in your butler uniforms, though. <laughs> okay, oh, so my God. Okay. <laughs> Damik says you're subversively transforming the rags of your oppression into the fatigues of the revolutionary through your jams. But you're kind of worried your performances will be drowned out by sarcastic orders to polish the silver. Oh, man. All right. I'm getting on board. <laughs> you, you're, you're into the, I'm into this, too. Yeah. Uh, it's your tablet. You use it for pretty much all computing needs. Perfect device for a kid on the go. Except you spend most of your time at home, so it usually just stays right here in your room. Unfortunately, a kid on the go is probably exactly what you are now. You really should grab it. Besides, your mic is plugged into it, and you're sure not leaving that behind. Gather yeah, both tablet and mic in, with one practiced motion. They're attached, so the motion probably didn't require as much practice as you might think. You then proceed to have this conversation again from the other side. It's all new to Zephros, but it'd be a little dull to read the whole thing over again. Let's just pick up where we left off. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. You want to say more anything? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect, Joey. Perfect. Joey, you nailed it. Oh, yeah, you're definitely an alien. I mean, you have some strange collection of grotesque physical and mental diseases. Uh. Either way, you need my help. Okay, that much is definitely true. I'm pretty sure I heard the monster scratching the door. He's probably hungry. Anyway, man, if you're an alien, we gotta get you out of here. The heiress hates aliens. <sighs> the what? The heiress. Oh, uh, well, she's awful and controls everything, basically. I mean, I doubt she's ever met one. But to hear her talk, she hates aliens as much as she hates low bloods, Which I guess you also are. You're practically a member of the Resistance already. Uh, I'm not really sure whether to be confused or really concerned about you. So, do you need help? One time when things got really bad for my brother, my babysitter took him to the doctor and it seemed to help. <laughs> uh, oh wow, these are all good. Uh, I'm gonna go with what's a doctor. That's the saddest one, I think. Yeah. What's a doctor? Wow, and I thought my home life was neg neglectful. <laughs> Okay, I'm definitely concerned. Being concerned is what friends do for each other. I've never had anyone but Tetrarch Damic be concerned about me before. Aw, oh, jeez. I bet the other Tetrarchs will be extremely excited to hear there's an alien helping us now. Uh, sure. Well, but I'm sort of pretty focused on not being killed by the monster in the other room for the moment. Kind of my main deal right now. I don't really have a lot of time for anything else. Right! Yeah, of course! I'll help you. And the Tetrarch, too, because, well, I think... Okay, I hope this is also helping him somehow, which uh, reminds me, we should really shouldn't be talking like this. Like what? Tetrarch Danik says we always have to assume our communications are being monitored, and this is exactly the kind of conversation I shouldn't be having. Oh man, I better hurry up and get over there. I'm on my way now! Please don't message me anymore. It's dangerous. BRB! In person, I mean. <laughs> Man. <laughs> alright. Yeah, well, I, I like this dude. Yeah, he's alright. He's doing his best. <laughs> oh, wow. I like how the uh, eyes turned yellow. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Chelsea pointed that out. Yep, yep. Uh, the door to your Lucis shed, where your Lucis sleeps, in theory. In practice, though, he sleeps wherever the hell he wants. Sometimes in a branch, sometimes in less convenient places. We need to see all of these photos. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's a sloth! <laughs> oh! You kind of wish you could live somewhere with more trees and... Maybe then he'd be less asleep always? Like most things in your life, though, you didn't really have much say in the matter. 
Tetrarch Dammit had you act out scenes from some of your favorite action movies. Which just so happened to be his favorite action movies, too. You're lucky to have a Moirel who really pushes you. <laughs> you still can't believe they got a shot of you at the exact moment you clobbered the clover. What a lucky break! This is from the 12th Perigee's Eve when Dammit gave you the auto-tune Mikey made. This was his way of letting you know he'd started a band and that you were the singer. And also that your voice could use a little help. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, man. <laughs> I sound great. Oh! Oh! <laughs> he was always giving you leaves to eat. You would munch on them for his benefit, mostly. Come to think of it, though, you have always been pretty strong. Could those bitter leaves you nod on as a wiggler have something to do with that? When you were just a little wiggler, curling up with your loosest made you feel safe when the world seemed scary. Which was often. I, I love this boy. <laughs> Jeez, come to think of it, the two of you haven't played on the tree in a long time. Maybe that's why he's been so lazy. Well, at least it looks like the two of you will both be getting some exercise in the immediate future. I swear to God, if it's dead, I swear to God, it's dead. <laughs> Cleaning supplies, the noble instruments of your future career, you guess. It kind of depresses you to keep them anywhere you like to have fun, so you just dump them at the end of the hallway. Maybe if your hallway is really clean, the drones will stop trying to burn your neighborhood down and kill you. Ah, there's that rust blood moxie. Let's go check these out. Oh, man. The Tetric plays lead drums when you guys perform. You didn't know that lead drums were a thing until Damick told you he was playing them, and that you were in a band with him. This was a great night. Damick insisted you have half the flavor disc. Your Lucis took this picture, a delightful trick he's never repeated. <laughs> you guys had a lot of fun in the studio, as evidenced by this candid selfie Tetric Damick told you to take. <laughs> Look at you! So carefree. You wish you were gearing up to play right now. You were so excited to show him that branch. He ate all the leaves in one very slow bite, and you were left with a pretty decent hive-made Q-Bat. The first Q-Bat you ever had, actually. Oh. Your smear spinner has gotten a lot of use lately. Why, just look at that even glisten of mucus on the floor. Beautiful. You could almost take pride in it. What's this door? The door to your rumpus room. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. That's definitely a puzzle. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. It's your sports vault. Just a, huge <laughs> <laughs> just a huge heavy vault themed with sports. Arena stickball specifically and obviously. It's the only place in the hive you can store food for your Lucis. He's so strong, he can easily break into any other hiding place. It has a special telekinesis-based interface. It tends to wear you out a little, and the combination is pretty hard to remember. Let's open it up. You can't open the sports vault with your hands. Try thinking before you act. Right, right, right. Oh, there's a Scorpo. No! <laughs> you, <laughs> just Dark Souls ass death screen. Oof, that's a rough one. It can be hard to remember the path when you're already concentrating on your shaky telekinesis. It helps if you have some kind of guide on hand. You got just the thing, but uh, you don't think it's in this room. It's over here. Pause right at the height of exciting sport. They release, the they release a new arena stickball game grub like six times a sweep. And every time you buy it like a sucker and act surprised when nothing's different. It's like, what are they going to do? Change the rules? I, I, yeah. I can relate to that. <laughs> nah, you're pretty busy right now. Only chumps play video games when they have obligations they should be tending to. <laughs> hey, to be fair, I have nothing to do. Right, yeah. It's late. Hive swap. The crest of the Alternian Pro Arena Stickball League, with all 15 balls. In a real game of Arena Stickball, these are all different sizes, and each has its own distinct powers. 
The Thrash Thrust Snow Globes are the best team to ever play the sport of lords. Oh boy. And that is simply all there is to say on the matter. Playing for them is your dream. Was, you guess. Let's look at the, uh... No. The foosball table? Yeah. I'll take a look at that next. Zoltan Matsos was the greatest pusher the Snow Globes ever had. No Prowler could catch him, no Zapper could blast him, and no matter what Lucis the Wrangler set on him, the Ma Matsos would shake it off. That all ended the night the heiress of that era attended the game and the opposing controller made Matsos thrust his bone nook at her. She had him cold right there on the velvet. He's got a Funko Pop! Oh yeah! This wasn't the current heiress, of course. This was a long time ago, before you were hatched. Let's see. Nothing like a little recessed tabletop arena stickball with your best bud. Too bad he's not around right now. Maybe later. Nah, recessed tabletop arena stickball isn't very fun by yourself. It's mu not much like arena stickball either. Let's look at the Funko. Your Zoltan Matsos Bobblenug figurine is the jewel of your collection. Beautiful. You've taken some pretty good thumbs to the nug bone in your day. Oh, nug bone's a good word. The the pusher is only is the only player allowed to score, so they're prime targets for the opposing defense. That helmet's so worn out that it's basically worthless, except for its sentimental value. Well, it's just still pretty low. <laughs> it's your Q-Bat, your most prized piece of arena stickball equipment. Better bring this with you. You try to pull the Q-Bat free, but it seems you wedged it in there a little too tight. Whoops. You'll need to find something to help you pry it loose. Maybe a bent... I doubt very much this will work. Wedge the bent spoon in between the hilt and the wall, and... Oh, it actually worked. Hey! Yes! You got the Q-Bat! This thing packs a wallop, especially when the tip is chalked and it's carried by you. Woo! That's your Q. That's your Q. Alright. I think we're ready to head out. Yep. Oh, here we go. Oh, damn it. Let me reset the... Ah, damn it. I just want to exit. There we go. Okay. Your Imperial Edict mandated portrait of the heiress. She rules your planet with a perfectly manicured golden fist. You know it's perfectly manicured because she recently issued an Imperial member... Memorandum about all about her new nail art. The drones outside are doing her dirty work. She'll have a shiny top coat of blood after tonight. All of it common hued, you're sure. Ugh. Ooh. Uh, magazines. You subscribe to a wide variety of hip periodicals. Arena Stickball Illustrated, Grubs Diurnally. Those are actually the only titles you know. The rest always incorporate the magazine's name on the cover into some sick graphic design to the point that you can't actually tell what the name is. This one with the graffiti of a muscle beast throwing up is usually about movies, though. <laughs> I got a weather report. Oh, now it's, uh... Oh, you can change the channel, I see. That's great. That rules. Let's see. As a rust blood, you're not permitted to have luxurious circular discs. Only the standard hexagons. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> These lounge planks aren't full of soap or slime or anything like that. They're just comfor comfortable horizontal surfaces suited to either the sitting or lying prone positions. <laughs> Uh, anything else in here to check? I don't think so. Head to the left? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh yeah, I can go left. Oh, there's their boy. A playbook for the burgundy blood pusher position in Arena Stickball. You still have dreams of being a star pusher, and studying these killer plays was going to help take you to the top. But your play on the field never quite lived up to the athletic promise of your fantasies. Also, the closer your rights of maturation get, the more... Uh, the more s the sobering reality sinks in that you'll never get to play professionally. 
Life of butlering, here you come. You guess. You pick up the pusher playbook. Now, if a situation arises where you need to remember a particular play, you'll be well equipped to do so. You resolve to keep an eye out for just such contrivance. Like, maybe that's safe. Yeah, let's go up to that safe. Okay. Look at that. It's nearly escaped from your impending death o'clock. <laughs> You'd better not be late. All right. Ascend. Of course, they had to put that in there. Right. Uh, no, that's fart. Yep. Oh, he's so quick. <laughs> I like his, like, damp reflection in the... Oh, he died. Oh, he got tired. <laughs> Ugh. You just don't have the psychic stamina to make it all the way to the hole without dropping it. You need a quick pick-me-up. Bridge. Yep. Here we go. What is this? Grub juice hydration cylinders. Inside these cylindrical containers is grub juice, which can be used for hydration and restoring reserves of psychic power. You pick up the grub juice hydration cylinders. Nice. Now if you need a quick restorative for your psychic stamina, you'll have just that. Uh, in your, oh, you'll just have that in your hand instead of not having it like some kind of chump. Uh, what else have we got in here? Ugh, these are still in here? Bile slaw doesn't really keep well. Left over from Tetrarch Damek's early wriggling day party. He doesn't turn seven sweeps old for a couple wipes, but you wanted to celebrate him before his rites of maturation. Eating an unranged cluck beast ova is a great way to fill your acid tubes with horrifying parasites. Who probably wouldn't get along with your benevolent parasites. Or your benign parasites. Ooh. Ooh, oh. Always useful in case you need to whip up a souffle. You're bad at that, but it's a mandatory part of your future job, so... Alright. And look at this thing. Your grub slurry agitator is nice for when you just want to throw some unagitated glub slurry into the agitated receptacle and enjoy some glub slurry that's been thoroughly agitated. <laughs> You don't currently have any unagitated grub slurry that needs agitating in your glub slurry agitator. Whenever you do though, you almost know where to go. <laughs> Alright, let's head back upstairs. Yeah, I thought I saw an eye- oh, damn it. I don't know how that happened. Uh, I thought I saw an eyeball over here, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, whatever. What are the good kids? Yeah, it's got some good jokes. Yeah. Chris is looking over my shoulder. Oh, nice. Alright, alright. Hi. Hi. Did I combine these? With both these things in hand, you got everything? Yeah, okay. I just gotta... Bow! That's a sports vault. Sports vault? Yeah, sports vault. Oh. oh yeah, you can. There is totally the reflection of him. Yeah, that's trying very hard to move this tiny marble. A well-known sports fault. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> oh great! So good. Now you can get the sloth treats. What a trial that was. Lucky he has such a slow metabolism. Let's look. The sloth treats. All right, yeah. You grab the sloth treats. You know just what to do with these. Give them to a sloth? It's, yeah. <laughs> Damn it, it keeps doing that. Let me guess we give it to the sloth? Yep. Aw, oh, dang it, your Lucis is sleeping somewhere totally inconvenient again. Come on, wake up, uh... Oh my god, we get to name him. What are we naming him, Ashley? Oh, what do we name this loss?
Give me something. Ooh. D trick was one of the one is the suggestion. Um okay. Oh laundry's also very good. <laughs> laundry is good, yes. Um Oh yeah, I like it. Alright. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, far left. Oh yeah. Far left. Yep. Uh it's not taken. Now you gotta try and talk to him first. You got just thing to get him moving. Here you go, pizza sauce. Oh right, sloth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at his big old belly. Yaw. Oh shit! I missed it. Yeah, well. You thank pizza sauce for moving. Huh? 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 Looks like it might be some kind of software box. Hmm. Oh! Oh no! Oh man! Scratchware received. All future messages to and from this device are protected from third party surveillance. As a special one time offer, all past messages are protected as well. Do you agree that you are already subject to the terms of service? I'm vaguely unsettled by all this. <laughs> yeah. I'm vaguely unsettled by all this. That's bad, Ashley. Oh, no. This is all bad. Oh, this broke so bad. <laughs> oh. Ugh. That's a per perfectly generic object. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Hello? Hey, Joey? It's Joey, right? Yeah, that's right. Near Xerox. Actually, no, I'm Zephros. Oh, oops. Are you okay? What's going on? I thought you weren't supposed to talk. Yeah, something weird happened, though. I think it's safe now. What do you mean? Real quick, do you have a green and white symbol on your chat window now? Oh, yeah, that wasn't there before. Okay. Uh, all right. I, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we're safe then. Uh, to chat, anyway. Okay, good. I don't quite get what the danger is, but guess I'm going to need to trust you if I have any hope of getting out of here. Well, um, some bad news on that front. A missile hit my hive and I'm buried into the debris in the, my lawn ring. <laughs> missile buried lawn ring? <laughs> uh, missile, I guess. Okay. A missile? But a big heavy thump a minute ago. Is that related? Oh, yeah, that was probably the missile that nearly killed me. You need help more than I do right now. I don't want to be a bother. But I was about to say something to those effects. Or, I mean, I was gonna say I'm sorry I can't help you anymore, and we're both stuck waiting to find out if the flames of the drones will reach us first. Nuts to that. <gasps> I'm gonna save you. Aren't you stuck? In a home? I, wa I was, but that missile knocked some box over. I don't think I... Could move my arms in a weird way. It kind of helped. Boxes? Yeah, they're blocking a vent shaft. I'm going to climb up there and see where it leads. Wow, you're kind of like a real-life action hero. Wow. Ah, uh, shucks. I want to help you the way you're going to help me. And you're putting yourself in a lot more drifts than I realized. I repeat. <gasps> <laughs> I mean, ask, what the heck does that mean? Oh, you can use letters and numbers to make a little face. Tetrarch Damic told me he likes it when I smile. Oh, Aw. We, we have those where I'm from, but I didn't know what the X means. Oh, those are my horns. Your horns? Yeah? Like the guy on this screensaver? Uh, I think so. That's probably not me, though. But those are real. Uh... Do you not have horns? I thought they were out of frame. 
No, I don't have horns. Jeez. What a question. That's so weird and cool. You really are an alien. I never thought I'd meet one. Well, there's your kid. Or, I mean, I really seem to be not to not be that, but you understand what I'm going for here. I think so, yeah. I'll be there as quick as I can, so apply pressure to the wounds and try not to move too much. It's okay. The weight of the rubble crushing my body is pressing down on my wounds and preventing me from moving at all. Ah, oh, man, Xerox. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's just you, Ashley. <laughs> You really gotta work on the concept of what's okay. Yeah, no, I love Joey so much. She's just you, except also into dance. No way, if you wanted to get killed by a weird monster in the basement, you would have stayed at home. All right, there's a monster out there. Uh, well, let's look at this stuff. Yeah. This seems to be a map, but you don't recognize the shapes of any of the land masses depicted on it. Or, well... Actually, now that you think about it, they maybe do look kind of familiar, but you're not sure where you would have seen them before. They're on the globe in the trophy room. <gasps> you don't really know what this is all about. You would kind of like to never find out, please. Um, uh, uh, let's look at the... Oh, oh. Uh, uh, no, the, um... The screensaver. Oh, oh. I can't. Oh, okay. Can I switch to... I'm just trying to get a f Oh, no! Oh, pizza sauce! Pizza sauce! Save me! You've been pinned by the ruins of your destroyed gander precipice! You think? You can't really see all that well at the moment. Luckily, it seems your body shielded your tablet from most of the rubble. <laughs> Hooray! Ah, ah, ouch, ouch! You try, but it's too heavy. Pizza sauce is working on it, but at the rate he's going, it might be old age that does you in. All right, well, I don't think he's going to be much help right now. No. <laughs> oh, pizza sauce. Yeah, there's a vent. Oh, right, she did. Uh, that's right, probably should have just done the things she said she was going to do. Listen, well, so you got to do the dumb things you're going to do. Right. You got to touch the puppet head. <laughs> don't I, I don't want the puppet head to be in this game, Ashley. <laughs> touch the puppet head. Listen, if, there, if, if a certain puppet's head is in this game, I'm out. <laughs> oh god, look at that Judge Dredd! Fuck! Uh, uh, hey, I made it through the vent shaft. Wow! That's pretty exceptional! Oh well, gosh, thank you. It, it was a bit creepy in the respect, fairly dangerous. I say I was more dangerous than I expected. Well, um, I'd rather you didn't, honestly. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it, it's okay, but... Typing quirks are sort of... I noticed you don't really have one, but, um... They're kind of a thing that's exclusive to you, you know? Or, I mean, it's okay if they're used occasionally by someone you're close to. No offense, but I don't know you that well yet. I oh, see. Well, I'm sorry. I will know better from now on. No, I'm probably being weird about it. I'm sorry. You had no way of knowing. Zephyrus, it's okay to tell people when they do something that bothers you. Better to express how you feel than sit on it forever when the other person has no idea. Good night, Chelsea. Bye. Good night, Chelsea. What kind of foundation for a friendship would that be? Oh. Yeah, you're right. By the way, how much were you covered in exactly? I'm not really sure how I'm going to get you out of there. Oh, that won't be too hard if you can find my hover pad. It's around here somewhere. I use it to move my looses around, but Tetrarch Damic borrowed it. To move some guns, I think, or maybe his drums. No, oh, bad timing. <laughs> well, I mean, that was a couple sweeps ago. So, I guess it's pretty much his now. You know what they say, your hive is my hive. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's mostly what Tetrarch says as he's taking my stuff. Okay, that's nice, but what exactly did it have about exactly? All right, sorry. Fine, you don't want you to bleed to death or whatever while typing. I think it's probably still in the Tetrarch's loft above his respite block. Do you know where you are now? Not really, but... Oh. Kinda dark and creepy. Kinda dark and creepy. I don't want to make you anxious, but... That describes, um... Every block in the Tetrarch's hive. Great. I'll message you why I've made some more progress, I suppose. 
Okay, yeah. I think I'm about to pass out from blood loss, so I'm gonna chill out for a little while. <laughs> Hang in there. I'll find you over pet soon. <laughs> there you go, okay. All right, yeah. The beautiful deer cat looks like the deer cat, but, hmm, are they common here or something? No, I want to talk about Judge Dredd. No, stop uh, it. No, oh, he won't let me. You still have the penguin, uh, the, the, the pigeon. Oh, yeah, I do. Use pigeon on deer cat. Ah, nothing. <laughs> this looks like some kind of safe, you guess? Hard to be sure, given your current surroundings, but it seems to fit the usual profile. Danik seems pretty paranoid. Even if you could crack his safe, it probably wouldn't be, uh, safe to do so. Oh, the anarchy symbol in the back is very good. Oh, yeah. Well, Steer oh. clear. <laughs> All right. Best case scenario, this grotesque sack of goo is some sort of alien bathtub that someone forgot to drain. Worst case scenario, it's an extremely poisonous toilet. You aren't going anywhere near Damix clogged toilet, or whatever this is. Maybe it's the egg you hatched out of? It's gross, whatever it is. This desk is in pretty lousy shape on account of the guns piled on top of it. If you need to get any last-minute paperwork done, look elsewhere. Oh. Looks like some kind of big, weird book. What was the uh, what? thing you could do with the book? Oh, you can pick it up. Yeah. You pick up the... Let's see. Looks like this is the Big Book of Beasts? You flip through, glimpsing tons of monsters at various levels of weird, cute, scary, and spectacular. You can use this to learn more about the weird alien life on this weird alien planet. Neat. You don't find anything about Byers in here because he's just a little Earth Pidge. <laughs> Uh, it's he's got a thing of uh, one of the trolls being abducted. Uh, where? Oh, over On here. The left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't click on it, but yeah. Let's see. Let's look at this. Huh. The handprint is probably how this door is opened, or maybe it just means the room on the other side is room four, or room hand, or maybe that's the obvious local sign for lethal monsters do not enter. Either way, this thing doesn't seem to be powered. Mm. Uh, but I got a jelly cube. Hey. Hey, puzzles. <laughs> I like how she just throws it. God, she's so cute, Ashley. <laughs> so adorable. Hey. Hi, Joey. How's it going? Oh great, actually put anything in lockdown. Or maybe it was in lockdown before and I somehow got past one door. That's probably it. The Tetrarch is extremely high security. What's the deal? Is it really paranoid or is your planet really dangerous? Must be if everyone's house is full of guns. Actually, my hive's pretty different. It's a lot cleaner for one thing. And it has a tree growing in it for my Lucis. And there's no guns. That sounds really nice. Why does he have... Why do they even need so many guns for? Anyway. Well, I guess it's okay to tell you since you're another rust blood, but don't tell anyone else. It's a major secret. I won't know a single other person on your entire planet. All right. Okay, but um, yeah. So we're rebelling. Uh. It's okay. You can take a minute. I know it's a lot to process. Rebelling against what? The man? Oh, great. <laughs> no, the Harris is a girl. Oh, um, right, you're an alien. Okay, so some context. The Harris is a murdering tyrant who holds our whole planet in her wicked, finny fist. Finny? Yeah, she's a sea dweller and a fuchsia blood. One of only two. The other one... Well, she's really far away all the time, leading the conquest of other galaxies or whatever. Which is lucky for us, because she's incredibly powerful. Not so lucky for the people in the other galaxies, though. Huh? Oh. Yeah, that's true. But, anyway, theirs is enough to deal with. 
The other high bloods follow her, and of course she has her drone army. Of course, ain't that always just the way? Yeah. I was kidding. I don't know what high bloods or drone armies or anything are. I hate to be all hi. I'm new here on your planet. Can you gradually bring me up to speed on literally everything? Which, in amazement, as I stun you with my penetrating cluelessness, I feast your eyes on my badly executed jokes. <laughs> You're pretty upbeat about all this. I think if I was suddenly shot across the galaxy or whatever, I'd be flipping out. Or are you currently bleeding out under a ton of rocks? <laughs> I guess so. I kind of know I have no idea what's going on. Okay, well, the drones are flying around outside. They'll take us into custody if they see us, assuming they don't kill us outright by firing missiles into our bodies until we're dead. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, a lot of us can wait until we get you to safety. I'm going to go find your hover pad now. Talk to you soon. You assume this trophy for best terror cat, menace, fawn, trash, bronco, and show. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to narrate? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I can't do the Kermit voice. No? Ooh, no. Oh, gross. Someone left food out and a big bug got into it. Or... Or he eats bugs. Possibly that's all anyone here eats. You really, really wish you'd eaten something before you got here. Eat the page. <laughs> nope. 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 Not your bug. Not your bowl. Not your problem. <laughs> a computer! You wonder if Damic ever makes his own video games as a means of hashing out his problems like Clarissa does. <laughs> Clarissa is so cool. <laughs> She just really loves Clarissa explains it all. She just wants to uh, explain it all to the girl from Dot, from Matrix. God, I, I, I can never forget that. <laughs> this hole is what you get when you build an elevator into your house, while at the same time not caring if people fall down holes. The platform is down in the basement, and you can still hear the sound of the wild animal below. Danik has gone back and forth between the Grubbles and the Grubbles several times. The Grubbles seems to be the current favorite, though. At least until he crosses it 